All right, good afternoon, YouTube. I'm bringing you uh, two more fixed blades today. This is from the Steve Garua Correction. Lord, I hope I'm not killing that. Um, Mr. Steve was nice enough to gift me um, these two blades, and I'm just overjoyed at his, his um, generosity and his kindness. He has been commenting on my videos from day one, and uh, he is always extremely respectful. Um, he enjoys my channel, and, and I'm, I'm just honored to be receiving these blades from him. They're just two powerhouse of a blades, and um, let's get started. The first one is um, the K-Bar TDI. It's the model number 1477CB, partly serrated. This is handheld awesomeness right here. It really is. Beautiful coyote tan scales. It's full tang. It just feels so good in the hand. It has the spray on finish beautifully logoed these these handles are a tacky rubber type substance they feel extremely good the jimping's in the right place I mean the thing just feels awesome it feels really good as an underhanded knife and I mean if you ever had to use your knuckles and you got this in there with you couple of them that's going to get Sasquatch out the pea patch quick that's a lot of evilness right there I love the edge on it it's just a fantastic little addition to my K-Bar collection and I want to tell Mr. Steve I appreciate this so much more than you'll ever know brother thank you thank you thank you The next one, I have passed on this knife on two different occasions. I have never held the knife, never even saw the knife other than on the internet. I could kick myself right in the fruit basket for not getting this knife earlier. This is the K-Bar Johnson's Adventure 5600. It's a fixed blade camp type knife. And uh, whoever designed it needs a uh, needs a pat on the back because it's one of the most awesome fixed blades I've ever held in my life. It is 1095 high carbon. This is a giant hunk of man metal right here. It really is. It is a beautiful knife. It feels so good in the hand. It truly does. It's made for chopping. It's forward heavy. And look how thick the stock is. I mean, this full tang monster is a handful. And it was done so well. There's the Johnson Adventure logo there. Model 5600. K-Bar. This one was done in the U.S. Pebble textured handles that just feel amazing. They feel awesome. They really do. I would not know why you would want to change this in any way. This has such a fighter look to it and feel. The spine is really flat. I love that. False edge. About two and a half inches. Just beautiful grind lines. And look at that edge. This is a beautiful knife and an awesome addition to a K-Bar collection. If you collect K-Bars and don't have the pot belly, 
something's amiss. But this is pure awesomeness right here. I love this knife. And this is from the Steve Garua collection. It's beautiful. I already have a spot for it in my war chest on my K-Bar side. And uh, I would love to get the series, the other knives that go with it, like the Baconator, and they have a couple of more. And they have one, um, a piggyback knife for this knife. It's skeletonized. I'm going to try to locate that as well. This is awesome. I'm extremely proud of this. And it's hands down one of the best built K-Bars I've ever seen. This thing is awesome. It come in this ballistic nylon sheath that's built extremely well. Has a large pocket on the front, two retention straps. About a one and three eight belt to go through there. Has the on the adventure logo on the back from Johnson Adventures. Leg tie. Has a snap closure here for a stone. Or that may be for the piggyback knife and then the front pockets for the stone. I'm not sure. But uh, this this is awesome. This really is. This is a really good sheath. Because I love sheaths that have plastic inserts. You know, that that's, that's a really good plus. And especially when they fix it to where the blade doesn't make contact with the... You know where I'm going with that? You know, a lot of people have trouble with their modified Tantos sticking it in that plastic Kydex type sheath. They say it dulls the knife. Now, mine doesn't do that, but I know two other people, close friends of mine, that did have that problem, and I also know of a few on the YouTube that's had that problem. I believe Eric Hussein had that problem. Um, I want to say Carl Ruger may have had that problem. But, but mine, I, I didn't have that problem with it. I, I don't know. It may be something to do with the molding, maybe, or it could have something to do with temperature causing the plastics to swell and draw up. I, I'm not sure, but mine didn't have that problem. But I do know of several people who did have that problem. And this knife here doesn't have that problem because it's, uh, it's, it's bitey to the touch. So this has an extremely good edge on it. All right, I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, share the story of where I got it from. Mr. Steve Guerrero is an awesome guy. If you guys get a chance to talk to him, I'd love for you to sneak on over there and subscribe to him. And uh, he's just a fantastic individual. And I enjoy speaking with him. And... Um, these two K-Bars here will definitely have a good home. And I wish all of you guys a happy day, a good day. And uh, let's not forget our veterans. 22 a day. 22 a day. That is a horrible number. And it's a horrible thing to have to bring up. But it is reality today. And... Uh, we need to do something to change that. So tell your friends, tell your families, let's get the word out. And let's let a veteran know that if he's in need, we're here to help. You guys have an awesome day. This is Donovan from Mississippi. Talk to you guys later.